Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Grant Lissiter. I am a neurologically based chiropractor and a healthcare expert in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today we are going to be talking about your core muscles, your abdominal muscles, and what makes them so important, okay? So most people believe that your core is just your abs, having strong abs, and uh, while your abs do make up a part of your core muscles, there is this muscle, musculature all along this area, including your low back muscles, your paraspinal muscles, that play into your core muscles as well. Why the core is so important is it helps stabilize and support your, your low back and your spine. So if your core muscles are weak, it can be argued you're more likely to, to sustain a low back injury. So very important to keep your core strong to support your spine along with regular uh, chiropractic care. So we're gonna get right into this. Uh, here is our first exercise, okay? So we're gonna jump into it right now. All right guys, so the first exercise we're going to be talking about is plank. So planking, most people are familiar with, there's a couple different ways to do it. Uh, the first one would be honestly just holding a push-up position. So if you just kind of get on your hands here and you would hold your feet up, keep your toes together, and you want to keep your spine flat. So if you bring your head up, you'll see that the low back kind of arches in. So usually a best practice is to kind of look straight down to the ground, keep your arms extended, and you want to You'll notice how my back is pretty flat here. One of the common things that people do to kind of cheat with this is they will sag their low back and butt extend. You do not want to do this. If you start to fatigue, this means you need to stop. So you want to hold this position, and that's probably the simplest way. A more common method, this is one I've, I've personally used myself, is I will get on my forearms and use my elbows for support, my hands are touching, and similar premise here, just looking straight down, you don't want to look up, just Head down, back flat, and if you're able to get to the point where you can hold that position for 30 to 60 seconds, you're doing pretty darn good. Uh, I, I think there was a gentleman in his 60s that set the world record for doing this for like a day or something crazy like that. It was, it was nuts, but good core strength, kind of a general idea. 30 to 60 seconds is great, longer if you can. If you fatigue, do not allow yourself to cheat. It can actually be counterproductive. All right, so the next exercise is called side planking. And so I would not do this exercise if you have low back issues or discomfort. This is something to do that you, it's more maintenance or preventative. So with this side plank, what you're doing, again, you're gonna get onto your forearm, one side, and like you would probably think here, you're going to literally just hold this position. If you want, you can put your arm here, but you notice I'm flat here, flat here, I'm not, not doing this, I'm not allowing myself to sag. So holding strong here, this position, you will feel it along your side through here. And again, if you're able to hold this position for 30 to 60 seconds, you're doing pretty darn good. Uh, if you want, you can add more of an active component to this where you go from here to here. But I would just be very, very mindful. If you start to fatigue, do not overextend yourself. All right, our third exercise is, gonna, is actually called the Superman. So Superman's, what that looks like is you just literally want to lay on your stomach here. So you look like this, and you want to pretend you're Superman. So you want your knees up off the ground, your arms up off the ground, and you're actually trying to arch your low back looking straight ahead. You don't want your head down for this one, you actually want to look up. And you're gonna feel this activate the paraspinal muscles in your low back. So again, holding that position for 30 to 60 seconds, Huge, huge benefit for your core muscles. All right, so the next exercise we're gonna discuss is crunches. Now crunches have kind of gotten a bad rap over the past few years. Uh, the argument is that you're doing crunches can injure your spine. A couple reasons why it's gotten that rap. So number one, if you already have an existing disc problem in your low back, it can aggravate that because of the motion, the form of it. Uh, a lot of people too cheat with their crunches and they will really pull their head hard to be able to complete this movement. So the goal is not to pull on your head. You really want to focus on contracting your abdomen as you do this. So a couple of things to consider is you're laying here, flat on the back, flat on your back, and you can have your knees, so again, hips at 90, knees at 90. If you would like, you can cross your knees over here like this, or you can rotate where you do right over left after so many crunches and switch left over right. But your hands are here, you're looking straight ahead and you want to do this motion. So the cheat here is people will really pull their head up and round their back. So you don't want to do that. You really want to focus on 
your abdomen contracting to bring your elbows to your knees. Okay? And I, I'm intentional about not lacing my hands behind my neck because I do not want to be tempted to cheat and pull on my head a complete movement. And a general rule of thumb with that is if you're able to complete, uh, truthfully, around 25 to even 50 of those, you're probably doing pretty good. Just know your body, know if you're fatiguing and pushing past that point, okay? All right, and the last exercise we're gonna discuss for core strengthening is going to be the classic sit-up. And this goes way, way back. A um, Couple things you can do if you're having a hard time with your sit-ups, you can put a weight on top of your feet to kind of give yourself some counterbalance to pull with your lower abdomen. If your abs are a little bit stronger, you'll be able to get by doing it without the weight. Things to be aware of though, the cheat is your feet will come up off the ground as you're pulling yourself up. So that happens, you might want to add the weight so again, good form for this. Feet flat on the ground, you're on your back. You can use your hand, again, hands behind the head, but don't lace the fingers. You do not want to be tempted to pull up on your head here. So you just come yourself. So you can use your arms like this straight up, or if you can, like this. So both good, however you want to do it, you can create some momentum with the arm swing, but you want to make sure you're contracting your abdomen. This is an abdominal exercise. So if you get to a point where you're not using those muscles, you're cheating and you're kind of wasting your time on it, okay? So I hope this video has been extremely helpful for you to give you some ideas of things you can do at home without any gym membership to help support your spine.